Hello doctors, today we learn on topic on biomechanics gait which is the most important and what are its kinematics and kinetics in its gait cycle. As we know the picture showing a red signal to the leg, it implies the gait cycle that is your heel strike, heel of, heel strike, uh, flat foot, mid stance, heel off and toe off. This is the stages of the gait cycle and what are its respect to its hip knee and ankle foot its kinetics and kinematics let i discuss in its tablet form and you can also write in exam very simply when coming its stance phase on hip kinematic kinetics your kinematics from heel strike to foot flat it is in 30 degrees of flexion and the muscles involved in kinetics are your gluteus maximus erector spinae and hamstrings Foot flat to mid stance, 30, 30 degrees of flexion, gluteus maximus at the beginning. And mid stance to heel off, extension, no activity. And heel off to toe off, there will be 10 degrees of hyper extension to the neutral. And the muscles are your iliopsoas, adductor magnus, adductor longus. When coming into the knee stance phase, heel strike to foot flat, kinematics 0 to 15, de 15 degrees flexion. And kinematics initially there will be an quadriceps to hold the knee in extension and then uh, eccentrically to be opposite and foot flat to mid stance 15 degrees flexion 5 degrees will be an extension in kinetics there will be quadriceps contract early and no activity mid stance to heel off 5 flexion neutral no activity heel off to toe off 0 to 40, 40 degrees flexion quadriceps knee flexion Ankle and foot in stance phase, heel strike to foot flat, 0 to 15, deg 15 degrees plantar flexion and kinetics tibialis anterior which should be opposite to the plantar flexion and foot flat to mid stance, there will be an kinematics of plantar flexion to dorsiflexion and the muscles are your gastronomus and soreus to be opposing the dorsiflexors and mid stance to heel off, dorsiflexion movement in kinetics has same as above like gastronomus and soleus to be opposite the dorsiflexion heel off to toe off dorsiflexion to plantar flexion its movement and its muscles involve gastronomus soleus peroneus brevis and longus flexor halsis longus which, which will be contract into the plantar flexion next coming into its hip in sphinx phase that is acceleration and deacceleration in mid swing Acceleration to mid swing, it in kinetics, in kinematics, it is in flexion movement, and the muscles in kinetics are iliopsoas, rectus femoris, gracilis, sartorius, tensor facial lata, and in mid swing to deceleration, flexion to neutral hamstrings. In knee swing phase, acceleration to mid swing, the movement will be in flexion. And the muscles are quadriceps, biceps femoris, gracilis, sartorius. In mid swing to deceleration, in kinematics, there will be an extension. Quadriceps will be contracting concentrically to stabilize the knee extension for heel strike. Ne next, in knee, that is your ankle and foot in swing phase. Acceleration to mid phase, mid stance, there will be a movement of your dorsiflexion to the neutral. And the kinetics, it, it, it may have dorsiflexors getting contracted to bring the ankle in neutral and it prevention of toes from dragging on the floor as it is in from ankle and foot in acceleration to mid stance. In mid stance, in mid stance to deceleration, the kinematic will be neutral and the kinetics is dorsiflexion. So these are the phases of your gait cycle in stance phase and spin phase in biomechanics, kinematics and kinetics. In this you can write in tabular form putting it is very quite easy and learning. Thanks for watching SPN.